Welcome to the second topics in module 2. So in this topic, we will learn about the second elements in multimedia, which is image. Okay, the definition of image. So uh, we normally refer image as a still images and it is used in a various form for example a photograph image where we capture the image use the camera okay and the image can be in a grayscale color or in a color image and mostly these images um, are used in uh, along with a text document okay and the image also can be combined to create an inter interesting application. For example, as you can see here, we have a panorama of uh, image, okay, where there's a, a long way of combination of uh, uh, two buildings and create the panorama scene, okay. And sometimes the image also can be combined where we place it and make it look like a mosaic or a, a mosaic or a, a, a mosaic uh, presentation okay so that is our uh, examples of image and where we can use it so let's see what the image representation okay the characteristic of image are represented as a pixels what is pixels pixels are the smallest unit in a digital display so when you have a digital display and when you zoom in you will see this like a uh, uh, various uh, color in a square so this smaller square per color is called that as a pixel so pixels are the small unit in a digital display so this is small unit is called pixels and up to millions of pixels make up an image or video and on a devices uh, screen or in a digital printing digital image can be generated in two ways first as a bitmap image and second as a vector drawn graphic the bitmap image can also um, call as a raster base or paint graphic and the vector drawn graphics can um, also call as a drawn graphic what is a vector image vector image have a lines and curve and that are what make up the vector image so and these lines and curves are specified by a mathematical method and these vector image are preferable for layout since they are scaled without losing resolution you may generate a vector design at a modest size and scale it up in without pixelation or blurring okay so the vector image the keywords here that you need to understand that it is make up of by the lines or curve and the the lines and curve are uh, specifically uh, specified by the mathematical methods and so when you zoom in any kind of vector image you can see a very sharp uh, image of vector there are no pixel uh, pixelation or blurring okay this is how you identify the vector image now let's see what is the vector image example and the usage okay if you are creating logos icons and other scalable visual you are encouraging using uh, vector image to create them Okay, and the vector pictures may be scaled to any size without losing quality since they are mathematically defined lines and curves. Okay, therefore the logos, icons and any other resizable graphic visual are suitable to use this kind of vector image. 
Now let's see what is the bitmap image, okay? The bitmap images are made up of a grid of pixels. Remember the pixels? The smallest units in a image digital, okay? So the bitmap image known as a, also known as a raster image and or raster graphic. This raster graphic, on the other hand, when we scale up, zoom in the raster graphic, it might be appear a pixelated or indistinct. You can see from here, if you have a image capture by using the photo, by using the uh, capture photograph using a camera, okay, and you you go zoom into that photograph image. You see, you can see that the image are pixelated. They are not resolution independent. Okay, therefore, okay, these bitmap image are not resolution depend independent because if we scale up or we zoom in, uh, the this kind of bitmap image, it will pixelated. Okay, and that's make the uh, quality of the image will be reduced and it also means that the printing at a higher resolution may not produce the best results okay they can be bigger than uh, vector graphic in terms of file size as well okay so where we will use this kind of bitmap image bitmap image are used when we displaying a complicated photographic picture with a great resolution. So designers should employ the bitmap graphic. Um, bitmap pictures may be capture a broad variety of colors and gradients due to its grid of pixels and make them perfect for photography and other image images with a subtle shading and color changes so mostly the bitmap image are captured by a, a camera okay and it's are mostly a, a photograph image okay and the image have a very complex uh, photograph um, elements which a uh, very colorful colors and also shading and so on. So, uh, the simplest way to to compare between the vector image and bitmap image is the bitmap image is a photograph image. Okay, when you capture an image using the camera, or if you have a drawing, and then you scan the image and you save the file as a jpeg file for example that is a bitmap image okay but the vector image is another hand where you use a, a, a adobe illustrator to create a tree picture okay so that is a vector image okay so where we will use uh this kind of images where we can see the all the images okay is a very simple uh daily usage that we can see uh how we implement the image in a multimedia application for example the most famous um social media application instagram is where we put all our images all our photos okay in instagram also in facebook for a social media advertisement okay to promote and sales and marketing so we have to need a very um, beautiful and creative images and design gra graphic design um, to promote and uh, to make a marketing okay so that is for one of the examples uh, when we create a website okay we have to put some images in our website to make the look and feel more alive, okay? And that is one of the examples uh, from uh, the usage of multimedia application. And most of, mostly um, these uh, images uh, come along with a text as well to describe the image itself, okay? 
that's all about image elements in multimedia. Hopefully, you are able to explain about image representative and know how to differentiate between vector image and also bitmap image. And uh, last but not least, hopefully you also know how to implement and know the examples and usage of image in multimedia application. Okay, see you again in the next topic.